Number 6 colon 24 dash 26 The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Do everything in love. Jeremiah 17 verses 7 to 8 But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought, and never fails to bear fruit. Deuteronomy 6 verses 6 to 7 These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Mark 11 verse 24 Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Ephesians 3 verses 16 to 17, I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Proverbs 16 verse 3, Commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. Psalm 143 verse 8 Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 For we live by faith, not by sight. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 4 verse 2 Be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love. Psalm 121 verses 7 to 8 The Lord will keep you from all harm, he will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. John 11 verses 25 to 26 Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Exodus 23 verse 25 Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Acts 16 verse 31 they replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Proverbs 3 verses 3 to 4 Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13 And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Colossians 3 verse 14 And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, 
Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 6 verse 11 Put on the full armor of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Romans 11 verse 36 For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. Hebrews 4 verse 12 For the word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 2 If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. John 11 verse 40 Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? 3 John 1 verse 2 Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. Romans 8 verses 1 to 2 Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. John 7 verse 33 Jesus said, I am with you for only a short time, and then I am going to the one who sent me. John 13 verse 13 You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Psalm 119 verse 114 You are my refuge and my shield, I have put my hope in your word.